What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of this little tool I just got. You can see here it's made by Civivi. It's called a multi-tool. It's MT1, multi-tool one I'm guessing. Uh, it is in copper. They offer it in brass. I like copper better. It wears better. It looks cooler. Um, it's antimicrobial, so it's uh, self-cleaning. Um, so the reason I got this thing is, as we all know, from the time Corona hit, everything's kind of crazy. And uh, every time you touch something, you got to clean your hands. You got to clean everything else you touch. Um, so instead of hopefully cleaning everything all the time, I'm hoping I can use this thing to open the doors, touch keypads, and just clean this thing up a lot more often than cleaning everything else that I carry. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open this up and go through some of the properties and uh, specs of this thing and uh, see what we're working with and hopefully it's a neat little tool that I'll be able to uh, utilize more often than my hand sanitizer. So I did pick this up a few days ago, haven't been able to use it, but we're going to change that today. Now again, this is the Civivi MT1 in copper. It is called their Contactless Hook Keychain Multi-Tool 3-in-1. So it has a few things on the box here. It says bottle opener, open doors, press buttons, touch screens. Uh, pretty self-explanatory what it is. I figured what better way to use uh, to get this open than to use a Civivi knife. So this is my Elementum in black stone wash and copper scales. Uh, this stone wash finish is awesome. It's like a satin black. Um, I've opened a bunch of stuff up with it. It hasn't really marred up the blade. Uh, it looks great still. And you could see the patina wearing in on the uh, copper there from me handling it. It's actually wearing off it they, they come technically patinaed with this dark finish you can see from me handling it um, it's definitely lighter in the area I grip it and along the edges here uh, great knife I think it's on bearings it's a flipper um, I can flip this thing all day it is it is a great great knife um, the action is so smooth uh, fits in the hand great it's a at a price point where most people wouldn't balk at buying something around um, this price, I think they are somewhere around $50. Uh, they do go up more depending on what coatings you get and what scales you get, but the price point where they start at, I think, is like 50 bucks, which is a, a great value for this kind of knife. Um, anyway, we're going to use this and uh, open up this box and see what we got. Okay, so first thing we got here is these three little rubber tabs. So these go on the end. They are, uh, I'm assuming, optional, but they go on the end of the uh, tool for using uh, touchscreen um, applications. And here's the tool itself. Uh, it's cool. It comes in a vacuum sealed bag, so you know it really hasn't been handled by anybody um, outside of when it was originally packaged. So I'm going to open this up and check it out. It's pretty nice. It's got like a like a flat coating on it. It's not real glossy. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can pick that up. You can see it says Civivi here. This is the bottle opener, obviously. You know, you can crack open bottles there. It has a little keychain hook. And then the purpose of this is to obviously Put the little rubber tips on here, which uh, obviously should fit on there. I think they just slide over. Well, of course I'm going to struggle with this. But uh, that's where the rubber tip is supposed to go. I'm guessing you have to stretch it over so it doesn't fall off. And then this hook is for opening uh, doors. So you can pull doors, you can push doors open. Um, let me see if I can get this on here. Probably not. Actually, yeah, there we go. It's a pretty tight fit on there, uh, which is good. Obviously, you're not going to lose them, but that's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty light. Um, let me see. I got some of the specs over here. So it is about 3.5 inches long. It's 3.54 inches long. It is 0.18 thick. So it is not very thick. It is... Uh, it is pretty thin, about the thickness, maybe two keys, uh, like house keys, car keys, or not car keys, but probably house keys. Um, 
interesting design. I don't really know what this little ramp is for. Maybe it's for added uh, leverage when you're cracking open bottles and stuff. Uh, feels really solid though. Like it, there's no, obviously it shouldn't be because it's solid metal, but there's no like play or anything like that. Uh, it does weigh 1.13 ounces, so it is not the lightest because uh, it is copper. Um, but, you know, that's kind of what you get. Copper is a pretty cool material. Uh, so the weight that comes with it is just is what it is kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. It says it's a 3-in-1 tool. I don't really know much more about it, but we're going to try it out and uh, see how it goes. But uh, so far, so good. Looks like I can fit two fingers in there if I wanted to. I don't know why you would, but I guess if you had... I don't know, really small hands, and it was uncomfortable. You could put two fingers in there, but for me, it looks like it's just going to be a one finger. I don't know if I'm going to put it on a keychain or not. I might just have it in my pocket. I might put it on my keys. not really sure at this point. Maybe I'll put it on a uh, like a hook and just hang it on my inside of my pants or on my belt or something like that. Um, pretty neat little tool. Can't wait to use it. Get some wear on it. Carry it in my pocket. And that was the unboxing of my Civivi MT1 contactless hook in copper. Uh, this is going to be going in my rotation of uh, EDC gear. It should not come out of rotation, hopefully, for some time. Uh, I don't foresee any issues with this thing, you know, having any issues with it, but you never know. So we're going to try it out and uh, see what happens. Um, I guess that's it for now. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.